training in classical music, but I was grew up uh, uh, as an Iranian musician to to play Persian instrument. Mm -hmm. So uh, the thing is, it's a different philosophy that mm -hmm. not it's not just for Persian music. You can find it in you know uh, China. You can find it in flamenco music in Spain or mm -hmm. basically in East. You can see that. So it's a mm -hmm. different. Philosophy, it's a different concept, it's a different mm -hmm. background on history. Yeah. So, um, the basic element in that kind of uh, creative art is that you need to understand the concept of time and the place you play and the vibe you get, you, you get from people. So, uh, you have this experience with me all the time when we play together, when we rehearse together, every single time is a different experience. Mm -hmm. uh, actually don't rely on scores. You are just uh, relying on what is going on in the moment. You rely on what's going on with your colleagues or what is happening with the you know moon and light today. It's different, maybe you know the sunshine it has a different shade or color. It really, I, I can tell because every single time was very different. Exactly. Um, and you really, really are sensitive with your surroundings. And that for me was really, really beautiful. There are ways that uh, we as the Iranian try to survive. For example, as an artist, I kind of went in my art. So yeah. in that way I can, you know, uh, you know, basically talk. Uh, Absolutely. Um, and I know that, you know, as a composer, you worked um, for an Iranian film, right? You, you've written uh, the, the original score for a movie. Right. right. Uh, Say everything, every little things we talk about, there is politics involved. That's mm -hmm. why we cannot uh, separate ourselves with this uh, politics and uh, what is happening around us. So they want, they actually, um, all the movies, when they, it goes to film festival, you know, great film festival like Berlin, they come and they offer them uh, to be part of like Amazon or Netflix, all those things, especially the movie that won, you know, uh, but because the movie was coming from Iran, they said because of the sanction, they cannot do this. So um, things like that, yeah, yeah. But hopefully, it, uh, you know, they do something about it. So. Same thing is happening, I think, even now dealing with the pandemic. I think Iran is facing lots of challenges. Exactly, exactly. Corona situation. Uh, so of course, a lot of countries, they, they are helping each other. Um, but because of the sanction, uh, they basically say they don't allow any country or any fund come to Iran. Uh, and, and you know the recent one, it was uh, uh, just happening last week. So, uh, so I mean, uh, this, is, this is what, uh, it's not just about Iran, for example, the, this administration in this country right now, a lot of people around the world in this country suffering. You know the queen, and uh, you, I think from our previous conversations, you you mentioned that she's a very, very strong woman. Um, she's a survivor. That's how you described her. Can you share a bit more about sure. your interaction with her? Sure. She, uh, you know, uh, when she called me, I was like, it was in the morning and I woke up, I was like a soldier suddenly hearing her voice. Of course, I know her voice. And she said, how could you know my voice? You know, you're a good musician that you know my voice. Anyway, she, um, she's very, uh, you know, when uh, they were in charge, she did a lot for women. She did a lot to modernize Iran in many ways. She did a lot for the kids and <laughs> I think most importantly, she did a lot for art. So at that time, you know, imagine all these great musicians, all these great artists, you know, was coming in, in Iran.